What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today I am very happy to announce the launch of our Pulsar X2 and X2 Mini Random Frank P Edition mouse. Yes, I teamed up with Pulsar and Max Gaming to bring you a custom X2 and X2 Mini with a unique design and colorway, teal and a topographic pattern on the X2, dubbing it the Random Frank P Edition. Next week, March 17th, pre-order for these will finally open. We'll have 3,000 total units, so overall, kind of limited. 1,500 of the medium size and 1,500 of the small size. It'll all be linked down below, but we'll talk about it as this goes on, obviously. You guys know, over the years, we've released keyboards, mouse pads, keycaps, artisan keys, and now bringing it all together with a custom mouse, all in this topographic pattern, which I've personally really enjoyed, hence the whole lineup with this sort of integration. And this video is not gonna be a dedicated review. That would kind of be a conflict of interest on my end. More so a showcase for you guys, showing you all about the mouse, all the new additions and differences versus a stock X2 and X2 Mini and why it might be appealing to you. So let's start off with the unboxing experience because honestly, the packaging here is one of my favorite parts, as stupid as that sounds. Absolutely nailed the design and the topography and stuff going on. It looks phenomenal. So obviously once you get it in and you get it unboxed, you're gonna have the mouse right there in front of you. We'll put this to the side for now because for the unboxing, I wanna show you guys um, what's all included inside the box. So first you'll see in the little pocket here, you have a few things. First is a little sticker, got the design on it as well. So looks pretty cool, I'm a fan of that. And then you'll notice a custom trading card. The card pretty much just has the design and the specs. It's, you know, more so a commemorative piece, but they made three different random versions that will be placed in all the boxes a traditional card, a holographic card, and an autographed holographic card. So just a cool little piece to have, obviously if you're a fan as well, this would be just another nice addition to your purchase. I mean, come on, I grew up in the early 90s, I'm a big Pokemon kid, still at heart. So having something like this, I think is personally pretty cool. Getting back into the inclusions, you obviously have your USB-C charging cable. The same cable we've seen in the past, it's braided, and also fits into the USB receiver. This obviously connects to your PC, pairs the mouse, Pretty straightforward. Now, next up, one of the things I wanna talk about is this mouse is actually kind of a happy accident in the sense that this wasn't my overall vision, but I'm happy it turned out this way. So first up, nearly a year ago at this point, I designed and sent over four mocks sort of for the overall vision that I had for this mouse. So I wanted that topographic design for sure, but I wanted the mouse to be black and an iridescent midnight green. As you can see from my designs, that's the overall look I was going for across all four. Unfortunately, that you know sparkly iridescent paint isn't possible yet, at least right now with this new printing process with the design. And from when I initially got in the first prototypes to now the final release, I will admit the color on the mouse is a bit lighter than a true midnight green. I was kind of bummed, but like I said, happy accident. Because the way you have this darkish teal color naturally fading towards the top of the mouse, that color blend sort of looks like a really dark blue in a way. And that now perfectly matches the other line of topographic products that I've put out. So you pair this next to our NK65 keyboard with the deep C topographic keycaps we released with control T keys. And it literally looks like they were made together as a pair. By the way, if you do buy this, once it gets delivered, if you also have our random Frank P and novel keys uh, NK65 keyboard, or if you just also have the control T keycaps that we released last year, the deep C keycaps, send me some pictures, tag me in them. Cause I, it's just a really cool feeling seeing products you helped create come to life and then physically on someone's desk. Another change we have to this release versus the original X2 and X2 mini are the switches. These use blue shell pink dot switches and a TTC gold encoder. These switches are loved in the mouse community, so I'm definitely happy we could bring this upgrade to this release. We'll do a sound test for you. telling you guys, these blue shell pink dot switches, just, they feel so good, they sound so good. TTC gold encoder. This upgrade is definitely a noticeable one over the original. Now in terms of, you know, shape, size, dimensions, these mites are exactly the same as the X2 and X2 mini in terms of those dimensions. So I'll have those uplisted for you on screen so you could see that. However, one of the changes with these are the weight. 
So the mini's advertised at 52 grams, while the medium is 56 grams. But as you'll see, these units are around three grams heavier. The main reason for that is the new coating on these mice with a custom design. They're using a completely new print film heat transfer printing process, which allows for the designs to be printed so neatly on these mice. And in return, you do get that slight heavier variance. Shouldn't be a big deal, but I still wanted to bring it up. It's also the same weight difference as the Bruce Lee edition, and I didn't hear many complaints there. There's always one though, right? So at the end of the day, I'm really, really happy with the fact that we were able to launch this brand new edition at the same exact $95 price point like when the original X2 and X2 Mini released last year. We're not charging more just because. There is no extra added random Frank P tax. The same price with the added benefits of the new switches, the new and improved coating, and obviously the custom design to it as well. So guys, I'm just very, very excited this day is finally here. I'm telling you, it's been a long time coming. It's been in the works for a while. I didn't know if it was ever gonna happen, didn't know if it was gonna get delayed again, but we're finally here. And there's a few different vendors selling this depending on what region you're in. So I'll drop all the links if you wanna pick this up in the description down below so you can get yourself a unit. And there's 1500 copies, like we said, of each size. So 3000 total. Don't know if they're ever gonna run again. It's probably limited to just that 3000. So don't wanna miss out if you want to pick this up and support a content creator like me. And if you're into the whole topographic design and stuff. So guys, that'll wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed and I wanna hear all your thoughts and opinions. Give me all your feedback, your criticism. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? What would you change? What would you do different if you had the chance? I don't know. I'm open to everything in the comments section. If you like this video, if you like the mouse, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy your brand new Random Frank P X2. Have a good day.